or Zix, and I'll be the new head coach of 100 Thieves Valorant. So hilariously, this isn't my first time at 100 Thieves. In the past, I was with the League of Legends team. Uh, I have a long career coaching, mostly in League of Legends. So I used to be a head coach in the LCS for, let's say, seven years. There's a lot that I learned during that time and a lot of uh, reflecting and things that I want to use from that period that's going to help me transition into this role. It does feel, I'll say, very comfortable for me. Finally coming back to a head coach role, just being able to kind of coordinate and direct things the way that you want was something that was always very comfortable to me. Setting a team culture, that's something that was super important for me and something that I'm gonna to bring to 100 Thieves. About two or three years ago, after me and 100 Thieves had parted ways in League of Legends, I kind of stumbled upon Valorant, which was a very fun new game I climbed from like gold to immortal three within like a few months. I went all in and ended up getting energy as like a assistant coach spot. And then eventually EG, which was my most recent job. So moving to EG, uh, I definitely asked a lot about kind of like what I would be able to do within my position. Assistant coach is kind of a role where you have to fill the gaps. So a lot of my job there was being a bit of like a Swiss army knife. At times I had to do a lot of managerial work. At times I had to do a lot of like the scouting work, uh, at times I had to do, you know, I had to do a lot of pretty much everything. So I have a lot of experience doing just about everything now ba, ba, in terms ba, of Valorant ba, coaching. Ba. I'd say like the highlights for me, I mean. Yeah, he's, Zix has been in the scene for a long ass time. BG. I'm pretty sure he was on CLG when I was on CLG or something like that. That was in 2014. So he's been crazy. in the scene for a I while. Mean, I, I don't know. Sometimes I still think about it. It hasn't fully hit me, the gravity of it. Like being a world champ is crazy. I, and even in my league career, I only won two like national titles. Yeah. So yeah, world champion, that's insane. One thing that I do want to carry over from EG to 100 Thieves that I thought was very, very important was having like a strong identity and sticking to that. That throughout my entire career has been something that has always been, you know, it's super talked about in League of Legends all the time. Finding your style, finding your identity. It's been like 10 years. To it and like I know. Or anything like that. Just sticking to what nuts. works for you, following your game plan and moving forward with that. Coming into 100 Thieves, I talked with Mike a lot now and he seems very, very smart strategically about the game. And that's something that, you know, we wanted moving forward 100%. We're going to bring Mike back in the assistant coach position. You were 12. So I know people might be skeptical because, you know, I am like in the past, like a League of Legends guy, but I do want to give confidence. Like now I'm a Valorant guy and I'm looking forward to uh, 2024, I'm super confident moving forward, especially with this roster, with this team. And yeah, you guys will see. Nice. I think it's a W pickup for 100 Thieves. It'll be interesting to see. Next, honestly, it's pretty hype, dude. Like, I feel like since the offseason is so long, it actually builds the anticipation. But I think it's a little too long, right? Like, we still have technically, like, ah, I guess only like two months, really, right? Three months. But it is too long still.